All right, so what you got here is a working Pi Girl Zero. Um, this thing's actually set up with a couple of different modifications. First of all, this case is actually wider and thicker than the standard cases you see. So to compare, here's a uh, here's a standard case. I you can barely see it in the video, but here's a standard case, about like that, compared to this. So it's a little wider, so it fits the PCBs inside. Um, one thing that's different as well is this is a little thicker and it fits so we can fit the uh, external audio. So there's a volume control knob here. So by doing that, you can actually you can hear um, a lot of audio. So you can turn this down a little bit, a little too much. And it actually turns it down quite a bit. Um, the speaker port was added as well. And then there's these um, there's these standoffs that actually help uh, lock both sides of the cases down. One thing I was noticing with this case, I like the lip on it that goes all the way around the, the inside, but the problem was is that it would shift while you're playing, so the whole case would shift. So by putting these standoffs in, you're essentially able to play um, with the buttons not having any kind of shift movement issues. Um, Everything else is pretty much the same, just a few tweaks and modifications to the case. This is a lot tighter and a lot better feeling and just plays much nicer with the volume and then also with just having the standoffs built in. So um, to look at the components for this, to get the audio working, um, so setting this up, if you're going to set up a new Pi Zero, I would start from scratch from the tutorial on Adafruit and um, use what they suggest, you know, all, everything I bought through there. Um, I actually use these quiet buttons. I got these through um, eBay. If you have any questions, you know, hit me up in the links and I can actually add those to show you those. But everything else is about the same. One thing um, you'll need is this uh, I2S amplifier, and then you'll need a speaker, and I've used this. The case actually fix, fits this one inch speaker, and then uh, a pentometer, which is wired right here like this. And that's wired directly in line with the speaker. I don't have it wired up yet, but it's in line with the speaker. You can also see tutorials um, that I wrote. There's a PDF on the Thingiverse that I have for this. And uh, make sure you wire these up this way. And one thing to keep in mind is you want to do the gain to the ground. That gives you a, goes from 9 decibels to 12 decibels. Definitely do that. It gets you a lot more audio. In fact, there's a way to get 15 decibels by doing um, some kind of resistor. But this is kind of the configuration for how to set these up. Like I said, the wires um, are all outlined in that tutorial PDF, but um, that's really what it takes to add audio to these things from an external audio standpoint. Um, I haven't got the external audio to work with a headset style audio on the, um, the USB adapter. Hopefully we can kind of figure out a way to maybe run both of those drivers at the same time. So that's the, that's the tutorial on how all this. Like I said, a really nice, smooth gameplay. Um, when you're playing with the standoff. So this is that version 3 of the case. Um, it just works fantastic. So there you have it. Um, go ahead and hit up a like if you like this video and uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments.